Hi guys, Dr. Brenda Slovin here from YourMigraineDoctor.com. Today, I wanted to touch upon a very serious topic, depression and anxiety and its relationship back to migraine. Depression and anxiety are far too common. In any given year, around 19 million adults suffer from depression. Depression and related mood disorders rank right behind high blood pressure as the most common reason why people visit their doctor. Sadly, most people who go to the doctor for mood-related issues are blindly placed on medication. Even worse, most of these medications directly contribute to migraine-related problems. The most common antidepressants, they're called SSRIs, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. These are drugs like Lexapro, Prozac, Paxil, Celexa, Zoloft, and others. Their job is supposed to keep that serotonin hanging around your brain for longer periods of time. Drugs like Effexor, Cymbalta, they're designed to inhibit reabsorption of serotonin and also the neurotransmitter norepinephrine. Unfortunately, most individuals already suffering from mood disorders are extremely low in serotonin to begin with. So blocking the reuptake of what little serotonin there is does very little to boost overall serotonin levels. Patients are usually led into this infinite loop of hopping from one brand to the other, trying to find a viable solution to their issues. Those suffering from anxiety, they're commonly prescribed benzodiazepines. These are tranquilizers like Ativan, Xanax, Clonopin. Although designed to show immediate improvement, these medications carry numerous unwanted side effects, including poor sleep, seizures, mania, depression, suicide, and so many more. Additionally, tens of thousands of adults experience drug-induced tremors or uncontrollable shakes, and for many of them, uh, many of them, the tremors become permanent. These treatments that are supposed to cure depression and anxiety actually cause depression and anxiety. They cause addiction, suicidal tendencies, tremors, spasms, senility. Somewhere along the line, we ban began accepting that depression should be treated with medication that causes an increased risk of depression. You see why this doesn't make any sense whatsoever? While anxiety is attributed to behavioral factors, migraines and depression are more likely to be a more of a neurochemical um, dysfunction. In fact, migraines can occur in patients clinically diagnosed with mental disorders explains basically one neurochemical theory, that enzymes that fail to deliver messages to the brain can prompt specific physiological and bio behavioral actions. Many patients who live with migraines experience a certain level of anxiety because you fear that next onset. The anxiousness can turn to depression just after one episode and before you know it, you're in a loop and this is just recurrent. We need to start looking at this at a much deeper level. How we feel is largely determined by the foods we eat and how well these building blocks are converted into neurotransmitters, which as brain chemicals control our mood. Orthomolecular physicians like myself have recognized the fact that in many cases of physiological and psychological disorders, proper health can be simply reestablished by correcting and normalizing the balance of vitamins, minerals, and amino acids within the body. Unlike drug therapy, which attempts to cover up all the symptoms associated with a mood disorder, orthomolecular medicine seeks to actually find and correct the cause of the illness. You are what you eat, and the research proves it. Diet really has a huge impact on your physical and mental health. Natural organic foods like watercress, spirulina, pumpkin, soybeans, they're fantastic sources of amino acids and essential proteins. Supplementing your diet with 5-HTP uh, raises your serotonin levels. 5-HTV is uh, available over the counter at most grocery stores, health food stores, and it works extremely well for most of my patients. Studies have even shown that it can even be as effective as an antidepressant, um, even as effective as an SSRI. With the proper use of orthomolecular medicine and by correcting nutritional insufficiencies at the dietary level, we can get closer to the root of the problem without having to resort to harmful prescriptions. Small, healthy changes to your diet and supplements go so far when you're seeking a more peaceful, manageable mind. Be smart. Choose your food wisely. Be healthful. Okay? Be mindful of what you're eating and spend your time when you sit down and eat. Don't rush through your meals. Has this been helpful? 
instead of covering up the symptoms, you need to start looking at how all of this can be fixed together, and it really can. I'm Dr. Brenda Sloven from YourMigraineDoctor.com. If you found this information useful, please tag someone and share it. Also, feel free to comment below, um, and I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye.